Well, good day traders. We could have seen the markets uh, following on suit from what we saw yesterday with the drawdown we've been seeing. Markets decided to, to go the opposite direction. There'd been talk of big buy programs going through the equity market in that last hour of power. Yeah, the S&P picked up about 1%. It was good for about 20 pips in, uh, in, in Aussie dollar. You, know, you see WTI crude moving up about 3.5% on the session. I think the, the, the real focus there has been in that last hour, as I say, where buy programs going through the market, really responding also to uh, some comments coming from various hospital CEOs, in, especially in the Houston region, who talked about uh, having spare capacity to deal with the hospitalisation rate, something that had really been plaguing markets recently. As I say, we could have been down. You know, you've seen that daily case, case count in California, Arizona and Florida really spiking up. Government reports of some 20 million people potentially catching the virus already. So, yeah, markets chose to ignore that situation. There was a lot of focus on the financials. They did really well. You know, you, you, the sector was up 2.7%. Potential changes to the Volcker rule. Uh, we'll see how the trade tonight because the Fed have come out and said that, that banks can't increase their dividends um, or buy back stock until Q3, see how the tape plays through there. But at the moment, the market has bid up and, and, and we're looking for a very positive market open here in Asia. The MEX up 61 basis points despite the finance minister there talking about the fact that he's got COVID-19. A little bit buying in the Antipodeans, obviously following up uh, closely with that relationship that they've got with S&P Futures. The buying coming through in dollar yen, dollar uh, yen down at 14 basis points there, and euro dollar leading to the bottom of the pack down 29 basis points there. In terms of some of the charts that we've got our eyes on, let's have a look at the S&P. Now, volumes were pretty light, 17%, but then below the, the sort of 30-day average, 1.9 million futures contracts. But we traded down to the 200-day moving average. We've hit this back up. Uh, have a look at what we've been seeing in copper, because copper looks pretty good as moment. We've had every chance to roll over. We've held yesterday's low. We're pushing up about 80 basis points in copper. Uh, WTI as well, seeing a lot of flow coming through there. Uh, we're sort of trading up into the sort of the March gap into 41.15. We've sort of sold off a little bit there, but we're holding those lows there. But in terms of currency trades, one I like is the Aussie CAD weekly. Yeah, we've got this big supply coming into the market there. We're just probably shy of, of testing a, a, a bullish outside week reversal. We need to get sort of through 94.23 to do so. But one on the radar, if we get a, a close above those highs, that'd be very bullish indeed, one to watch.